Cappadocia in Turkey is one of the most magical places on this planet. In fact, it feels like you're on a different planet. You feel like a kid on the world's biggest playground, where you can just explore and discover new things on this incredible, vast landscape. It's just beyond amazing. It is 3.30 a.m. I don't think we said much. We have 30 minutes till we have to leave. Bye bye Antonio. Oh, you can't see the view. It is 5.30 a.m. and we are having much better luck with lunches this time. Yeah, because things are open. It's 5 a.m. It's 5 a.m. We can get some coffee and... Very limited snacks, like the lounges aren't like the lounges used to be here. At the moment they're like lockdown lounges, so it's like a few little snacks here and there. But the security area is very intense. Like before you enter the airport, you go through the security. It's harder getting out of the country, getting what between the, to the cities than it is to get into the country. Yeah, it is quite intense, but I guess it's good. I feel safe. Got some snackies, some more snacks, coffee, tea, everything you need. Thank you for your attention and have a nice one. Halfway there. <laughs> First time at is a W airport. Something, something, something. It's a smaller Istanbul airport. We flew on Dulce. It was actually really good. Such a pretty plane inside. Mm. It's like black leather seats. It's cool. Mm, it was really nice. Quick. We took off and then we landed. Yeah. <laughs> We've just arrived at the tiniest airport we've ever been at. Basically smaller than George's airport. Yeah, you can see airplanes there. <laughs> but it was nice and quick. It's cold. Yeah, it reminds me of Ukraine. Yeah, we're back in Ukraine. It is, it is cold and raining. Uh, interesting, <laughs> we didn't expect it. Tired. We've been up since 3.30 a.m. I don't think I really slept last night because I kept waking up because I was scared we were going to miss a flight. We're tired. You were scared you were going to miss a flight? Yeah, I, I didn't sleep. Mm. I, I like, didn't sleep either. That's why I knew I wasn't going to miss a flight. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the place is awesome. It's a, and the guys are so nice. They're like super helpful and super nice. And it's really geared towards tourists and making your life super easy, mm. which is nice. To go like we wanted to do something maybe potentially it's not even on like the normal tour thing it's like I take you yeah. <laughs> okay <laughs> so nice the awesome place for the first three nights I get my bearings, I feel a little bit like <laughs> disorientated. Yeah. yeah. This is one of the hotels we stayed at, and I cannot recommend it enough. It is super affordable, it includes breakfast, and the guy who runs or owns it makes you feel like family and goes out of his way to help you. Once again, homeless cats. And Aya. Hey, Joe. Where are you from? South Africa. South Africa. Hello. She's in Cappadocia. On the right places, the place name is Kebabzade. And this is the traditional poultry kebabs. What's inside? The meat. Oh, uh, meat in there? Yes. The bread. Chicken and beef. Ah, oh, looks delicious. If you are ever in Turkey, you have to try this. It is so good. It's like poikikos, but with baked bread on top of it. Pide? Jared got. Chicken wing thingies. And we got salads. Jared's wearing his new Turkish leather jacket. Mm hmm. It's cool. It looks good. It smells nice.
places like ridiculously pretty and there must be ways to get up there to those other rooms but I just don't know how but it's so pretty feels like I'm in the tombs in Egypt not that I've ever been there but I'm sure this is what it feels like <gasps> it goes up This is insane. I literally just walked into this cave and there's candles here. And I can't have been burning for too long. So somebody was here, but I don't know. This is very cool. This is so cool. But so dark. This is insane. So, apparently these caves became because Christians wanted a safe place to worship. So they chipped out caves and made churches and then they came here to worship in secret. So it's actually such a holy place. And I want to have these for the benches. I got my favorite salad, the spoon salad. Spoon salad. We had it with the duck place, it was amazing. The duck place. They said this is like, what a traditional Turkish drink or something. It tastes like all the wrong milk we've been buying. What do you mean? It tastes like sour milk. So it's not refreshing. I wouldn't call it refreshing, I would call it tummy ache. Mm. It's preserved over ice. Mm. It's like a mixture of like a yogurt. Kind of like a drinking yogurt but a bit more sour. Mm. Jared's gonna love it. They say that tomorrow's balloon rides are cancelled. So it seems like you have to plan to come for a few days because the odds of your balloon ride getting cancelled is really not in your control because of the weather. Yeah. And I mean it's spring, it was so hot and you get here and it's like rainy and cold so... So I guess you're gonna have to wait till next week to see that. But I highly recommend you click on that subscribe button to not miss next week or any of the other epic adventures in Cappadocia. But most importantly, if you've already subscribed, Thank you so much for watching.